Hey everybody, welcome to the Vinyl Channel. These are the records that I actually played this this week. So the first one we have here is Saxon Power and the Glory. Uh, this is the fifth studio album by the English heavy metal band, released in 1983. Uh, the band originally formed in 1974. Okay, next we have Miko, Swing Time's Greatest Hits. It was released in 1982 and it has covers of Swing Classics uh, done in a disco style. And next we have Peter Frampton, Wind of Change from 1972. This is his debut album. It's really good and also features a great cover of Jumping Jack Flash. Next we have John Jarrett's Tribe. This was originally released in 1984. It's a really great rock album. Uh, this was their only release, which is a shame since their performance on this album is really great. And here we have a 1992 pressing of the soundtrack of Wayne's World. Uh, this is a Korean pressing, only on one LP, and it was not released in the U.S. in 1992. Uh, it's a really awesome soundtrack. And here we have the Lindsey Buckingham self-titled album from 2021. It's always interesting when a, ba a band or artist releases a self-titled album that is not their debut. Uh, this is Lindsay, Lindsay's seventh solo studio album and it's really good. Next up is Chuck Armstrong's Shackin' Up. This was the only LP released by this well-traveled soul man and it was put out in 1976. The original pressing is uncommon and rather hard to find, but this is a barbecue sauce colored reissue uh, that was put out last year uh, by Real Gone Records. Uh, they, they did a real great job on this reissue and it sounds amazing. And the next we have uh, The Spin Doctors from 1994. This is their album, Turn It Upside Down. Uh, and this here is the original 1994 pressing, released on the Epic label on Green Vinyl. Uh, this is a really great album for the group. And last but not least, we have Counting Crows, August and Everything After, originally issued in 1993. Uh, this is the debut album for this band. Uh, this here is a Walmart reissue and yellow vinyl. The original 1993 LP was issued on just one uh, disc, but uh, on this Walmart reissue, uh, they actually pressed it on two discs. And that's it. I want to thank, thank everybody for watching, and I'll see you all next time.